Reinvent the wheels. Creatives, welcome to the Tools of the Trade Challenge. In front of you are three vats filled with used automotive fluids. Disgusting. Buried beneath the goo are four engine parts and four tools related to your particular trade. DJing, baking, and filmmaking. Your challenge is to separate the engine parts and the tools from the rest of the nonsense that's also buried in there. The tools and engine parts you uncover are to be transported one at a time down to this end of the course. The following parts need to be installed into the unfinished engine block. Spark plugs, harmonic balancer, water pump, oil filter. The tools are to be placed inside the corresponding outlines on the table. The first creative to discover all of their tools, assemble their motor correctly, and signify that they're finished by placing one hand in the goop soup, one hand over their head, and yelling, done, will win this challenge. The two creatives that lose will have a four hour penalty, meaning that tomorrow morning while the winning team continues on schedule, the other two creatives and their builders will have to put down their tools and stop work for four hours. I don't need to tell you just how big of a deal this is. Gary already is significantly unimpressed with my skills, with tools. I'm seriously, seriously terrified about what will happen if I lose. You guys ready to get your hands dirty? Let's go. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, you can't take time to take off your skirt, Christine. Come on, oh, Anthony is out there, off to the races. All right, let's see if they can do this. Oh, place on the table. Stuart is the first to have to build. Can he do it? And Stuart's having a bit of trouble with his harmonic balancer. Stuart, are you really still over there? There we go. Bit of a traffic jam down there. Let's go, guys. Don't get your four hour penalty. He's got the headphones on the table. You get the microphone and the headphones. It's getting slippery. Ugh. He's trying to figure out where it goes. Stuart, is that the oil filter down there? The water pump? Come on, hurry it up. Anthony has all of his parts on the table except one. Christine, not far behind. Uh-oh, parts flying all over. Don't forget to come back and get that. Don't trip, don't trip. Anthony's got his harmonic balancer. He's screwing it on. Good work, good work. Come back, yeah. Got a spark plug down here. Oh, another harmonic balancer. I think Anthony's at the lead this point. Oh, he knew exactly where the spark plug went. Stuart, how's it going? Oh, Christine looks like she's stuck. Come on, Christine. Anthony is my pick to win, but I'm not, I'm not giving up on Christine or Stuart yet. All right. Oh, has time to stretch, too. I, I don't know, I guess I kind of celebrated a little early, but when you grew up in the 80s, you know, you watch touchdown guys dance. I wanted to dance. And we have a winner! Congratulations, Anthony. You have won the challenge, and you're free to continue on your build on schedule. Good job. For the rest of you, starting tomorrow morning, you will not be allowed to begin working on your vehicle until you and your team has logged four hours of downtime. Have fun sharing that news with your builder. Good night, everyone. And remember, you have less than two weeks before you must present your car to the judges. Good luck. Good job, dude. I was really just kind of focusing on my own game. I had no idea really what anyone else was doing. I work well under pressure and I bet Gary does too. So maybe this will just be a big motivator for us. Now that I have to go back to Mike and tell him, dude, you gotta knock it off for four hours. Like don't touch anything. I am worried. I think he's gonna be pissed. <laughs> hey Mike. Oh no. Oh, you got treats. I did, I brought you guys some stuff. You and I need to have a little chat. So do you remember that challenge that I had to do? Um, well, it didn't win, which means we can't work on the car for four hours. Why didn't you win? I was so close. Best wasn't good enough, I guess. That's, that's why she brought the cupcakes. Trying to butter us up. Smell me, um, smell. This is really bad, we gotta finish this, I mean. Sugar I, want, I feel like smacking you on the head with the damn sugar <laughs> Fine. 
Whatever. Banned on the sweet muffins. Banned. Banned from MV Designs. May not look like it, but I'm pretty pissed off. Today is basically the most important day. Everything came in. Uh, we were waiting for all the parts to come in so we could take our measurements and proceed, but it doesn't look like this is gonna happen. This is some bull. What's going on, man? I have to talk to you about something. Do you remember that challenge I had to do on Thursday? Yeah, I lost. And, uh, the consequence is we can't work on this car for four hours today. Can't Wait, no, you're it. joking, right? No, I'm not joking. I'm really sorry. He's like, for real, right? This is for real. So, this is stupid. We got like two more weeks to go, not even two weeks. That's bull. So, guess what? Uh, I won the challenge. Oh! Did you get a prize? We get to work right now on the other team. They gotta sit. They can not work sit? Not work sit, yeah. And they're gonna sit and we're gonna work. Awesome. Hey, Mike. Hey. What's going on? What are you doing? Plugging away. I'm so excited that these four hours are finally over. I can't wait to get back to work. We're gonna do some welding. Awesome. Give me fire. You ready? We're gonna weld this up here. Like a bad weld will sound like this. And a good weld will sound like this. Here's the hard part, you gotta get under there. All right, let's do this. All right. Can you get it? A little better. She did a good job today. She needed a lot of direction, but... You know, she was very helpful. All right, well, lesson's over, and we need to get some work done. Working on the jib? Yeah. Or whatever it's called. Um, I don't know. I think it's the main things that we really need to shock and awe on the, on the judges. It's such a custom job that we need to make, we need to make everything from scratch. And that, that's just gonna take a lot more time, but it'll be right, so. I could have you start machining some pieces. The jib is the one thing that I'm really worried about. You wanna try? I, I don't wanna try. <laughs> this thing is just out of the dealership and we've already turned it into a poor man's convertible. Yo, Lee! What's up, yeah, man? How you doing? What's up, good, man? How you guys doing? How you doing? Good, good, good. good. When good. Anthony came in, we were a little annoyed just because we had been working all weekend. 2010, the year is in. So I'm, I'm cool. I'm like, I'm in Phil Jackson mode. We're going to make this happen. This is cool. There's a capacitor, and then the amps are Can all... Can we go back in time with that? Yeah, it's the flux capacitor. We're going to go back and find you some turntables. <laughs> Anthony came in and, and was insistent about using turntables still. We may not actually be able to do a turntable thing like because I took the measurements. We can't put it all the way in here for obvious reason. We can't put it all the way out here. It's two turntables horizontal right here. DJ mixer right here. MPC. No problem. The problem is getting it into the car. We can do it out here. When it folds all back up, we just can't. This is a legitimate I think, issue. Like, I think, yeah, yeah. Let, let me... Uh, we gotta is... keep. We gotta keep options open though. I know you don't want them, but if we have to end up doing them for the CDJ thing. I don't know why we're talking about CDJs. Because we may have to. No, we're not. Techniques, it's gonna work. I see it. It's in my head. Done, it's done. We got in a little, little argument about the direction of the project. The CDJs are a lot smaller. Yeah, they're smaller. The they CDJs just, are this, and they, they weigh right. less. The actuators are less expensive. With me, I don't want turntables, period. Okay. I, I seriously don't even want to, I don't want to do them at all. You don't have to go in front of those judges. I do. I got to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? That's like telling me to play drums with cans when I'm used to drumsticks. Yeah, but a, drum a, a real professional could. You don't have to you perform. Could, you could yeah. suck, though. The backup is this car not sucking. What we do as builders, it has to be current technology, exactly. cutting yeah. edge. Sticking to what you do. And let me stick to what I do. What I do, I do on two turntables and a mixer. Let me stick to what I do. You stick to what you do. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Go, go outside. Seriously. Are you seriously mad? Yeah, get out. Reinvent the wheels.